I am Anil Kumar and here is the next question based on the test paper of quadratic functions. The question here is sum of squares of two consecutive numbers is 421. What could be the integers? Now when we talk about integers we are looking for positive and negative numbers right so there could be two sets of answers remember that part. Feel free to Pause the video, answer it yourself, and then look into my suggestions. Now, first thing to understand is consecutive numbers. What are consecutive numbers? Numbers like 2, 3, they come together, right? 5, 6, 10, 12, 10, 11, they are all consecutive numbers. So the consecutive numbers could be defined as if x is one number, the other number is going to be x plus 1. You could say x minus 1 also, right? Let's take x plus 1. So x and x plus 1 are two consecutive numbers. Let me write the symbol for numbers. Okay. Now it says sum of squares of two consecutive numbers is 421. So we can write down the equation as square of x which is x square plus square of the other number which is x plus 1 whole square and their sum is 421. So that gives you an equation. Solving this equation we can find the value of x and then when we add this up to 1 we get the other number. So that is how it can be solved. I hope that's absolutely clear. You can attempt and then look into my solution. Okay, so let's open the brackets so we get x square plus x plus 1 whole square is x square plus 2x plus 1. This is equal to 421. Bring all the terms together. Combine the like terms. We get 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 421 equals to 0. And that gives you 2x square plus 2x minus 420 equals to 0. You can factor 2 out it helps since the numbers reduces a bit you get x squared plus x minus 210 equals to 0. Now at this stage you can apply the quadratic formula or you could even factor correct. Now I will show you a factoring technique here so we, we are looking for uh, uh, let's say like this we are looking for product of two numbers to be minus 210 and sum of these two numbers as 1. What could be these two numbers? Clearly these two numbers are very very close to one another, right? So the difference is only 1. Best way is just to square root of 210, you get some number which is 14.49. That means the number is close to 14 or 15, correct? So let's divide 210 by 14 what do we get we get 15 do you get an idea so that is how quickly you can get the two numbers which satisfy this particular condition so let me rewrite this equation here which is 2 times x square plus x minus 210 equals to 0 and we'll factor this uh, with x since this is positive bigger number is positive bigger numbers 15 for us right and the smaller number was 14 negative only then when you multiply you get negative number so I hope you understand and appreciate this technique of getting to two numbers especially working with bigger difficult numbers right now these two factors equated to 0 gives you two possible solutions x plus 15 equals to 0 gives you x equals to minus 15 and x minus 14 equals to 0 gives you x equals to 14. So these are two possible solutions and so we get two sets of solutions, correct? So let me clearly write down what these sets are. If x equals to minus 15, what is x plus 1 equal to? Minus 15 plus 1 is minus 14, correct? If x equals to 14, x plus 1 is 14 plus 1 which is 15. And therefore, the numbers are minus 15 minus 14 or you can say and uh, 14 and 15. So that is how this question can be solved 
and these are the only two sets of numbers integers I should say which will satisfy the given condition I hope you appreciate it feel free to write your comments and subscribe to my videos thank you and all the best